Our mission at Champions United is to mentor the next generation of Ugandan leaders. We use soccer as kind of a mean to build relationships with the children that we work with. I started learning early on that one way that the, the playing field was kind of even was when you were playing sports. So I went to lunch one day with a friend of mine, Scott Bowen, who is now the other co-founder of Champions United. And we just kind of came together and began to dream a little bit and said, wouldn't it be cool to go somewhere in Africa and develop a sports outreach program um, and equip coaches who are adults that don't really have resources, but to equip them um, with an opportunity to use sports to, in, to have influence over the lives of thousands of kids. Easily hundreds of our boys will say, our coaches are the father figure that they don't have in their life. Uh, some of these boys lack parents. And uh, uh, since they lack parents, some of them grow on their own without respons being responsible. It's helping them to discover uh, themselves and how they can be really strong men because the coach is there to guide, not only to teach them football, but to guide them through life experience. Almost all of our coaches are university graduates. However, most of our coaches are either orphans, they're from poor communities, um, or at a, at a minimum, they are from pretty unconnected families. So they're from kind of the outlier areas. Nighttime, the businessmen that come from the community that are wealthy businessmen, and they'll pay to play on our fields. In a given year, each facility will generate about 25,000 US dollars in cash, which in Uganda goes a long way. For the next 15 years, we won't spend any money to pay for a coach, to pay for balls, to pay for lights, to pay for anything. It's 100% self-sustaining financially. Our big vision is ultimately to have 20 fields in Uganda that have an influence or a reach over 20,000 children in Uganda. When you send turf over to Uganda, we send it in two or three shipping containers with what's called crumb rubber, which is bags of rubber that goes in fills on the turf. Um, so it takes about two or three shipping containers. We take the turf out and the crumb rubber out and we put the field down and then we have three empty shipping containers. So then we'll call a local guy over and he'll convert the shipping containers into housing for our coaches. So Jackson Healthcare got involved in helping us produce a soccer field for thousands of kids to be reached. But ultimately, there's three shipping containers over there that are converted so that eight coaches live there full time on the campus in these shipping containers. Without partners like Jackson Healthcare, we just simply couldn't do what we do. Right? There would be no fields in Uganda right now. We wouldn't really have a chance to go over there and make the impact we want to make. And at the end of the day, that's what we feel like. That's, that's ultimately the whole reason we do what we do is to make an impact on a kid's life like that.